I like to go fishing. Everybody know that those are my. Man, that's cat. He's not catching me with no fishing pole. Hey, listen. <laughs> he ain't catching me with no fishing pole. What does it look like catching Moby Dick with a fucking hey. fishing pole? Hey. They all been caught before. Every now, no fishing one. pole. Every last one of them. And now July 29th, no he gonna be caught too. I got a big enough hook for him. And in March, I'm already reeling him in. July 29th, I'm gonna have a submarine. I'm gonna put him on the bank. I'm gonna put him on the bank. I'm gonna gut him and I'm gonna fillet him. Like you I have said. a submarine. All right, we gonna we, we gonna catch him. We're, well, matter of fact, we already caught him. We just reeling him in right now. Woo wee! My goodness, the words of Terrence Bud Crawford and Errol Spence. But you know. I'm just happy that this fight is happening, okay? However, I'm, I'm digging the press conferences and everything. However, we should have all known how these press conferences, how the press conference was going to go, you know, uh, especially from the first time they met backstage, okay? I mean, Arrow, he's not that, you know, uh, like, how can I say, a uh, 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 verbal, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's not like, uh, Terrence Bell Crawford. L L L Crawford is more loquacious, you know. He's more of uh, uh, voluble, okay. Um, he he's very articulate with his words. You know, he know how to use words, okay. And he catches Errol Spence in his own trap all the time. I mean, Errol Spence come at him, and Bud counter him back, and he catches him. He 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 silences him. Right? Errol don't know what to come out uh, come back with. You know what I'm saying? Um, it it's you know, seeing this right here is is definitely proof that Errol does not write his own Twitter or Facebook. He has a ghostwriter. OK, come on. All right. This right here proves it. OK, we've been saying this. All right. I mean, we've seen the way Errol, uh, how he used to uh, tweet years ago. OK, how he played and stuff and how people was making fun of him and everything. You know, not gone make fun all this type of stuff you know nah uh-uh you know he, he he's not he's not that dude okay um arrow is the type of bull that he will get caught up quick in it quick in a uh police interrogation room okay i feel sorry for him if he was to ever get into any trouble and he has to be interrogated he will get caught up quick okay i mean he's not that uh swift on on you know on his uh in thinking with his words and everything okay they'll catch him quick and when he said that um how you gonna catch moby dick whoa i thought you was uh you know uh how i was saying uh passing yourself off as, as a shark okay i understand you said big fish but you always use a shark okay now now you a well moby moby dick is a well and he also contradicts himself. See, this is what I'm saying. He better not ever get in trouble, okay, with the law, okay? <laughs> he better not ever get in trouble. He contradicts himself, right? He tries to say that Sean Porter was broken. That's why um, Crawford beat him and Crawford countered back. Well, uh, you know, uh, Kell Brook was broken. No, he wasn't. Kell Brook wasn't broken. Nah, he, he was A.R. right. Kell Brook was coming right off a loss, okay? He went up two weight divisions, you know, had a pretty good fight, got his uh, eye, his orbital bone broken, and then he came back down two weight classes to take on Spence. That boy was well broken, okay? Man, and they call him Truth Spence, Arrow the Truth Spence. Nah, mm -mm. that nickname don't fit, okay? Matter to the fact, neither of their nicknames fit, you know? You got Arrow the Truth Spence, and he ain't spitting the truth. He's spitting lies, and... Bud, he don't drink or smoke, you know. So why should name be Bud? You know, and he don't drink Bud Wiser, Bud Light, none of that. I mean, that's what I know the name Bud for. Okay, and maybe it's used for something else. I don't know, but those two things I know what it's used for. Okay, but yeah, man, you know, Bud is beating Spence. He beat him twice. Whoever said he won uh, the uh, second press conference? I'm talking about Earl Spence. Whoever said he won? Nah, uh, straight up hating on my man's Crawford, okay? Both of these dudes I like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I know I said some things about Spence, but hey, it's all love. 
You know, I'm mostly going after the fans, whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But hey, hey, you have every right to be a fanboy. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, and, you know, expressing this fight coming up, they say it's, it's going to be a rematch clause. Some say it's going to be a trilogy and all that. Um, I'm thinking to myself, man, I don't know. Is it is it going to be some strip the crap in this fight? Is it going to be one, one, and one? One guy win, then a rematch, the other guy win, and then the third fight, you get a draw. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I hope it's not like that. You know what I mean? Um, I, I hope this stuff is, is the real deal. And I, I, I understand people was talking about the Vada test, but what about the weight clause, okay? And that rehydration clause. Because sometimes Earl's, a, he, he looks pretty big. I understand he never missed weight, but, you, you know, he just looks kind of big, but... Actually, looking at him, you know, on the press conference, the second one, them legs of his look kind of weak walking up that stage, yo. It looked kind of shaky, you know, <laughs> kind of weak, kind of skinny. So, yeah, he, he's in shape. He's in shape, but he just looked weak. I, I don't know. Well, anyways, that's my take on this CMD Boxing Report. Terrence Crawford wins twice. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.